Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up in St. Germain, Wisconsin, battling lots of snow, lots of slush, and ice cold temps. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, 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 oh my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh my awesome. gosh. Blake, I'll tell you what, there is a lot of snow up here in St. Germain, isn't there? Yeah, there's quite a bit. And now we have so much slush, so it's so hard to get around, but thank goodness for our Yamahas. Hey, Rob, come on up here, buddy. One thing I want to mention is uh, you can turn your Yamaha off there is you guys just got belted with snow up here in early December, didn't you? Yeah, actually right before Thanksgiving, we had a big snowstorm and then, you know, right as December started, we got our second one. And uh, the lakes that had ice on them a few inches from, you know, mid, mid November are, are really suffering. We have a lot of slush to deal with and uh, talk about what one day makes. I mean, I checked this area out on Saturday and it was, I was pretty excited and, and now it's a foot of water. Well, as we came through there, man, I'll right. tell you it, what, it was tough. And uh, we're supposed to get some cold weather, that'll help, but what are we gonna do today? We're gonna try for some bluegills because that's about all we can get to right now. Right, yeah, right. I mean, you know, a couple days ago, you could get around a lot better, you know, and like I said, one day made a difference. We'll be able to fish one of these areas here and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll catch some bluegills and then we'll switch up and, and go set up for some walleyes. Well, again, folks, uh, if you're gonna head up to Vilas County, there's a ton of snow up here. Uh, be prepared and, uh, you know, fishing should be good, right? But just travel's gonna be right. tough. Right, you gotta be very careful because right now, the lakes that did not have ice on them, you know, before the snow, uh, you know, they froze up, but then we had a couple inches since then, so everything looks the same. I mean, you look at a lake and it might look inviting to go out there, and there could be six, six, seven inches, you know, a hundred yards out, and then all of a sudden you're going to be hitting one and a half, two, because, you know, you can't tell. So, you know, take a rope, take your spud, check it as you go, and, you know, don't do it alone. We'll catch some fish today though, right? I hope so. Yeah, well, we'll uh, hey, what? <laughs> Even though travel stuff, it'll be fun. Right, right? oh yeah. Hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it, all that coming up right after this. Big news, introducing Jiffy's new E6 Lightning with clean power. Easy starting with a squeeze of the throttle. Powered by a six amp hour lithium battery, along with a high torque motor that delivers superior drilling performance. Reverse drilling makes skimming holes a thing of the past. Jiffy's Ripper Blade has longer life. Night lights offer safe drilling even in the dark. The new Jiffy E6 Lightning has everything covered. Yeah, what's my favorite series of hubs? The Clam C series shelters work best for us. Hey, what's our favorite ice hub shelter? The X series from Clam Outdoor. <laughs> Choose the hub shelter that's right for you at Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Welcome back, folks. I'll tell you what, we just set up and I've got myself a decent <laughs> bluegill. That's not bad, Rob. You know, that's perfect the eater, John. You eat bluegills, folks. That's the perfect size. And that's using that little Google Eye tungsten jig with just a wax worm on it. 
Rob, if you got a chance, uh, come on over. I want to talk to you a little bit, or are you too? Well, that's all right. I'm marking fish, there. man. But uh, we're fishing <laughs> in about 16 feet of water. And uh, what are you looking for this time of year? Weed edges? Well, right now, honestly, we're just looking where we have ice to fish. Yeah, right. But, um, you know, if we, if we had several lakes to choose from, um, I mean, honestly, I'd probably be looking at, at, you know, some type of crib structure, you know, whatever greenest weeds are because, you know, we haven't had ice that long um, and just move around. I mean, it's, you know, it's, you go off of stuff that you've done in years past, but it's still every day is a, is a learning curve because, you know, we haven't been out on the ice yet, you know. Oh, I'm marking one. <laughs> oh, Henry's got one on. Ooh, Way to go. I got one too. Got on. <laughs> the school has moved in. Yes. Ooh, oh, that's a oh. decent gill. A little guy. A yeah. oh, little guy for Henry there. Walk over to Henry there and hold those up together. There you go. Oh, these are cute. No, I mean, they're not jumbos, but like you said, they're good eaters. And who doesn't love bluegill, right? It's a start. Yeah. Hey, you know how I like to, to do those, Henry? Those smaller ones? Huh. I just cut the head off and scale them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really good like that. Dip them <laughs> in flour, throw them in some hot grease, and, and they're good because the, you can just pull the rib cage out then. You oh, know, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Henry's got his Packer shirt on today. <laughs> I know. Go yeah. Pack Go. Go Pack Go. Ooh, the Bears this weekend, too. <laughs> I know. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to have to go back down. I think I'm marking more. <laughs> oh, Henry, there we go. Evan, look at that. Got another All right, one. Henry, let's see what we got here. There you go. Oh, another got... eater size. Now, Henry, are those fish coming off the bottom? Yeah, they're only like a foot off. Yeah, and then you can but you can raise them up, right? Yeah, no, you can get them a bite. You can entice them to get in there and get it. Look at the pretty coloring on that fish, too. That, hold them up high. Yeah, that's really a pretty colored fish. <laughs> and you know, I'll tell you what, beggars can't be choosers. When, you, when your lakes are full of slush like this, you can only fish where you can fish. Yeah, no, we're doing the best we can with what we got. Oh, I got oh, one. Blake's oh, got Blake one. Blake Rooney. All right, Blake, Let's way see. to go there. I think we're on the school here, Dad. Oh, that's a teensy. Yeah, that's a teensy <laughs> one there, Blake. But hey. Hey, you know what? There's got to be bigger ones with the tiny ones. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, Rod, that's so much fun on that helix to watch these. Here he comes. And ooh, not too bad there, Rob. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know. There we go. That's not too bad, though, Rob, right no, there. No, that's actually a decent eating bluegill. Yeah. And uh, what your theory is on bluegills is you'll keep the, the seven, seven and a halfs and throw the eight and above back, right? If you watch and read, there's a lot of studies that have been done on harvesting of bluegills and, you know, um, taking a mix of fish throughout the whole size structure is what you really want to do. You know, the old adage of throwing back all the small ones, keeping the big ones isn't always the best, the best approach. Ooh, I got another. I think we got the school here, Dad. Yeah, well, they aren't real big, which is oh, fine. Oh, no. And that's not too, too well, bad. Well, do they bite all day? Like, is it a certain time for these bluegills, or? I think, you know, we're fishing in deeper water. Yeah, I think they oh, will bite one. most of the day, but we're not going to stay here that long. Like, yeah. We're going to actually go do some walleye fishing. Oh, fun. You got one. Let's see how big yours is. Oh, yours is a little tinier than mine. <laughs> it's still fun. And come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh, nice hook tip there, Robert Rudy. There we go. That's, That's a little bad. better. Hold that one up to your hand. Real, yeah, hold them real nice and high. And, uh, you know, one thing I wanted to ask you, today's December the 10th, and uh, you think with that cold weather that, that we got this past couple of days, was that going to tighten some of this ice up? Well, they originally had talked like we were going to get a lot of cold weather, and it's kind of up in the air how many days we're actually going to get of that, John. But um, yesterday, I mean, I was at the Packer game, and I know it was warm up here, too. And this got very slushy compared to how it was on Saturday. Uh, it's going to take more than a couple days for this type of slush to freeze up. But the lakes that didn't have snow um, or didn't have ice on it before all the snow, uh, those lakes, those lakes will make good ice. All right, so this is a team effort tip-up fishing. First, I cleaned the hole. Nicely done. Yep. Get all that slush out. Yep. There you go. And Rob, I'll tell you what, you know, we caught a few bluegills this morning and the snow has moved in big time. And, uh, but the evening deal, the walleye fishing up here in Vilas County in the evening can be pretty good, even in snow. 
Well, you know, generally pre precipitation, you know, isn't as good as is a regular non-precipitating day, at least what I've seen. But early ice, it really shouldn't matter. Okay, now you got your beaver dams ready. Yep. And uh, first of all, let's talk about the line. This looks like the same line you had on your muskie reel last year. It is. Yeah. This this is uh, Seaguar Hollow Core. Okay. You know, and not that this line gets old because it's synthetic and it's an awesome product, but you know, you, it'll lose color, you know, and sometimes it, it'll, you know, maybe lose some of the water resistance to it, but it's a great way to recycle it and use it on your tip-ups. You're saving money. And then you got uh, leader material, and this is a fluorocarbon, and you're running eight pound test. This is Seaguar Abrazex? Yeah, Abrazex, yeah. Why do you like that? It, 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 just like the name says, I mean, it holds up, you know, if we encounter pike, you know, you have that little extra, you know, you know protection with the fluorocarbon and the Abrazex formula, and it's invisible in the water, and this water is actually very clear, so anything that we can put in our advantage to catch some extra walleyes is what we want to do. All right, so now how do we find the depth? Well, you take your trusty depth bomb, which uh, <laughs> uh, is a hemostat. <laughs> today, yeah, because the uh, they all fall off your coat, you know, and so we're going to drop it down to the bottom. Okay. And once you find bottom, so, okay, right there bottom. is bottom. So I just got tight right to there. Okay. And how far off do you want to be? I'm generally going to go somewhere around, you know, 18 to 24 inches. You take that in consideration with the shaft of the tip up down there. So we're going to be somewhere about 18, 16 to 18 inches off Okay, and then you mark that, off. right? You yep. mark that spot? Which I just use a simple... Slip bobber thing. Slip bobber knot, right. Yep, yeah. slide it up to that mark. There it is. And once you catch a fish, you can it'll go right back. Right, it's be, it's all about being efficient. You know, get right. back down there as fast as you can. You know, you can you can use a little bobber. You can use you know um, a sinker. Right, anything. But that slip knot works so great. Yeah. Now then you add the meat. <laughs> yep. There, and you just hook that right in the back and hold yep. that real still for us for a nice second. and yeah lively sucker minnow there. That's a good thing. Okay, see, you're the cleaner. Yep. I'm the watcher, and he's the doer. <laughs> it's a team effort, y'all. Yeah. We were fishing the lakes of St. Germain, Wisconsin, a four-hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. A brand new exciting tungsten jig out by Acme Tackle this coming winter, the Google Eye Tungsten Jig. Two things I love about this jig is it has a built-in glass rattle that puts off noise and vibration that'll trigger all types of different panfish. The second unique feature about it is the glass rattle looks like a real eyeball. A lot of times when you're fishing panfish in the wintertime, they will come up on it and stay back two, three, four inches from your jig and stare at it. This is gonna give it a realistic profile and seal the deal on your next ice fishing trip. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. I switched to the Evinrude E-Tech G2 three years ago, and I'll tell you what, the raw power in this engine just blows me away. The whole shot, even with a 21-foot fiberglass boat, gets me up on plane just like a jet engine. And even with all that torque and power, I get the best gas mileage in the industry. And listen to this, there's no oil changes, and the E-Tech G2 winterizes itself with the push of a button. There's no scheduled maintenance for the first five years, and Evinrude has the best customer coverage package available. The E-Tech G2 is built right here in Wisconsin. For a dealer near you, go to evinrude.com. The Castmaster drop chain. We took the original Castmaster body and added a two-inch dropper chain to it. When you're rocking the Castmaster side to side and get the chain swinging, tipped with either a spike or a minnow head, it's a deadly combination. Check them all out at acmetackle.com. Hi, Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about new product today. We've got ATV, UTV oil change kits built by Amsoil for a variety of Polaris ATVs and UTVs. With the growing popularity of ATVs and UTVs, this just made sense to do. It takes all of your outstanding Amsoil products, puts them in one convenient kit. For more information, check out our website, amsoil.com, and look at the Power Sports Lookup Guide. Woo, flag! <laughs> 
Finally. 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 First one in probably five this hours. Is, this is walleye fishing yep. like this time of year. You, it can be just a real light, tight window, right, in the evening? Very, very well possible, John. You know, we've been sitting here talking about the right east dark. winds and all that good stuff. and Constant snow and the dampness uh, and the east wind. Is he there? Uh, yeah, he's a little, a little bit. Don't miss this fish, Rob. Oh, my heart's beating. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is like Fast. as exciting as musky fishing when you yeah. only get a couple bites. You yep. get them? Yeah. All Yay! right! Way to go, Rob Marino! It is not big. I yeah, don't okay. care. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, oh there's a walleye. <laughs> I'll tell you what, folks. He was hungry. Holy he mackerel. Was. No, but, you know, tell the folks, though, Rob, seriously, when you get a, a, a big front like this coming through with the snow, the bluegills were slow this morning, and uh, tomorrow it's supposed to be a high of, like, two degrees, but we, we're going to have to fish, huh? We're going to have to. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, again, like we talked about. Um, Hold them up so <laughs> Yeah. We, uh, you know, we, we don't have the ability to get in a whole lot of areas, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that being said, um, you know, you're forced to fish in close to shorelines. When it's cold, when it's snowing, when it's damp, what hits the spot? Johnsonville sausage. You got it. And today we got flame grilled cheddar sausage. Yes. And you yes. know, they make three different kinds of the flame grilled. They, they have do. the regular brats, they've got the Italians, mm -hmm. and the cheddar sausage. And, and that's what we're cooking today. Yes. And you know, low to medium heat, these are wonderful. Just yep. put them on. And again, mm -hmm. they're pre cooked at the factory for yep. you. So cook them on low to medium heat for 10 minutes. And Henry, you know what, buddy? If you're at home, you can pop one of these in the microwave for 45 seconds and it tastes like it just came off the grill. How was it? You can taste all that Wisconsin cheese. Yeah. That pork. That yep. pork. 100% right. so premium pork is wonderful. Awesome. Johnsonville Flame Grilled Cheddar Sausage. Find them at your local retailer today. It was spinning, it was spinning, it was spinning. Oh, there he goes. Okay, there he goes, okay there get him, get him. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, guys! <laughs> Hey, Hopefully Blake, it's bigger than that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bigger than the last one. <laughs> well, you know what? On a day like today, I'm not going to complain about no, any fish. No, not you know at that? all. Not hey, at Rob, all. Uh, early ice like this, where do you like to set up? On weeds or weed edges? Weed edges, yeah. Yeah, we're on weed edges. It's actually not a bad little eater right there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, you want to set up on what, you know, the weeds are still going to be green, you know, from the fall. And, uh, you know, we're just, we're, we've got tip ups scattered right tight on the edge and just out maybe 20 yards from the edge. Okay. And then in the evening, they'll migrate up into these waters to feed. I right. Suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we saw doing a little bit of jigging, you know, there's a lot of little perch around. That's what they're feeding on up along these weed edges here. And, you know, it's just starting a little bit later than we hoped. Wow, you can wow. see, you know what, no, we drilled a hole <laughs> here earlier in the day and the weight of that snow caused that water to come out. Yeah. And you experienced a very tough day of ice fishing it today. It really hasn't been the best, so we're going to have to go in the negative, negative temps tomorrow. Well, I hope that that doesn't affect the fishing, but you know, a lot no. of people ask me when I do seminars, what happens if you don't catch any fish? Well... You go the next day. Yep, we have to. <laughs> no, it'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, it is supposed to be cold, but we do have our clam pop-ups. Exactly, yeah. We have our clam shacks, and we'll be together. <laughs> Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check this out. Buy a St. Croix fishing rod at the low Fleet Farm price starting at $89.99 and you get a free Fleet Farm $20 gift card. That's a heck of a deal. Just to be safe, I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump. Dad, you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump. All you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor. It's that simple. Hey Blake, that is really cool. I guess I won't need these. Johnson cartridge bilge pumps. The highest capacity, the easiest to maintain, and the easiest to install. Johnson Pump, our choice for safety and reliability. Let us make this absolutely clear. 
the days of wasted casts and missed opportunities are over. New Mega Imaging takes fishing into the megahertz range for the first time because higher frequency sonar means higher frequency of this. Without a doubt, it's the most detailed picture of the world below ever. And it's only from Humminbird. Folks, these are some unbelievable deals you just got to check out. Right now, Recon has five pro staff boats for sale. The Recon is the best haul I've ever run. Here's the skinny. Very low hours, lifetime boat warranty, transferable engine warranty. The Recons also come with multiple helix locators, a 15 horsepower Evinrude kicker, a 12 foot talon, and a Minn Kota Altera with iPilot Link. Well, it's day two on our St. Germain trip, and Dad, come on out. I'm to... sitting in here with Rob. I thought you were going to yeah. come do that with me. <laughs> no, what we're going to do is watch tip-ups today. Yes. And uh, this morning dawned with five below and about a 10-mile-an-hour west wind, so it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, so thank goodness we have our clam thermal shack, and it was super easy to set up. Right. And we all can fit in it, which is really nice. And again, they're available at Fleet Farm. And again, a great Christmas gift, too. Very good. Now, what we're going to do today is sit in the old hub. And watch the tip-ups. Watch the tip-ups that we set out and hopefully finish the show. And hopefully we get more than last night. Yeah, I know. Hey, 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 our first uh, flag of the Ooh, day here, good. Blake. I feel, it feels like a fish, obviously. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. I hope it feels like a fish. Well, what after last night, it was it. tough. Hey, hey, oh. oh, we got uh, Ooh, a pike. A biker. A teensy, teensy pike. pike. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to well. be the small fish, though, so, since we can't get to where we want to go. Yeah. But, Rob, in, in all seriousness, I see that this is a weed flat we're on here just by the weeds on the pike there. Right, yeah. I mean, what we're, we're fishing right here, John. I mean, who knows what we're going to catch? You know, there's there's a lot of these little guys in here, um, but you know, there's walleyes around us too. I'm coming, you guys. Flag, we got a flag, 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 flag. Just hey, Blake, tell them how long we've been waiting for a flag. Uh, probably three hours now, but. And then we get three at once. Yeah, we just caught two little pike over there that we didn't film. Let's see. And got her. nicely done there, Blake. Want to be light with these? I don't want to. No, lose this, them. these weather conditions, folks. I'm not making excuses. They've really slowed our fishing down. Yeah, take your time. Let my hands warm up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it's better than a teensy pikey pikey. Well, here it is. We're happy with whatever. And there you go. Hey! Come on, Woo! let's get down here, guys. And, and that's a pretty walleye. Look at the nice coloring on that. Yeah. But, you know, your buddies fished this spot not too long ago, and they said their main bite was one to three in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, that was just a couple days ago, yeah. So, but uh, a little different weather than, than there is now. But, hey, thank the Lord for that clam hub shack, man. You got that heater going in there, and uh, all we do is stick our nose out and see if the tip-ups go up. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm. John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2019 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Julie Mack of Columbia Heights, Minnesota. She caught this 24-inch bass in Crow Wing County on a crappie meadow. Dave Levine of Manitowoc boated this 45-inch northern in Manitowoc County. He was using a chatterbait. Mary Kurth of Milwaukee boated this 31-inch walleye on Little Bay to Knock. She was using a rappella. Eric Steffen of Kenosha caught this 50-inch muskie on Lake Tomahawk. He was using a Girl. And this week's kids winners are Dane Wachter of Wapon caught this 10-inch bluegill on the Madison chain on a cricket. And Addie Wheat of Clinton, Iowa caught this 20-inch bass on a farm pond on a husky jerk. I go to Fleet Farm every week to find the hot new deals. Check out what I found this week. When you buy a Micro 5.0 Revolution Pro underwater camera system for a low fleet price of $449.99, you get a free $30 gift card and the Otter X Over Ice Shelter Package on sale for $549.99 and the Lodge for $649.99, saving $100. I got the bait bucket. Anything there, Rob? Uh, it looks like something. It's off. To, oh, yep. There's a little 
Good job with the mineral bucket, Dad. <laughs> okay, let's not see another little pike here, folks. We want a walleye. And we got a walleye. Yay. That's a good one. Oh, and one. he actually really ate that, too. Yeah, he did. Now, if you're up here in Vados County, folks, and a lot of the lakes have different limits, size limits and whatnot, but a lot of lakes you can keep 14 and under, yeah. and they're delicious, aren't they? Yeah, no, that one's really close to that size. But, yeah, no, John, some of the lakes that are very high populated with slow growth rates, uh, they want those, those, you know, fish to be mixed up and taken out, and that would be like a perfect one to eat. Rob Manthi ice guides on a daily basis. For more information, give Rob a call. That phone number is 715-477-2042. 477-2042. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. This Christmas, Fleet Farm has every gift for every list. We've got the biggest selection and the biggest savings on everything your loved ones are big into. Know someone who's big into lounging? Ladies Mucklux leggings, buy two, get one free. Or for that special someone who's big into coffee, Yeti Ramblers or buy two, get a $10 gift card. If we don't have it, you won't want to give it. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. You know, filming a news show every week can be tough. Yeah, it's not easy to say the least. And you always don't catch the big ones. But you know what? We did OK. Yeah. We had to put up with snow slush and now 15 below wind chill factors but we'll come back up and fish with rob yeah. i want to mention that i love saint germain lodge which is part of fibbers or fibbers mm -hmm. is part of saint germain lodge mm -hmm. all on one location the rooms are wonderful but you love the food at fibbers yeah i love fibbers a lot it has it's very cozy atmosphere and really really good food and right when you're done you go right up to your cozy room yeah that's right and rob doesn't mind if you stop in and you know, chat about fishing and have dinner, right? Not at all. Rob's the best host. We had a lot of fun, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Stay tuned for Coffee Talk Yay! Facebook Live right now. Hey, 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 John Gillespie. This is me. This is everything done here. Dee, 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 dee. Hey, 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 hey,